Well, hello there, boys and girls. Uh, you know, I don't like to do a lot of intros and sorry about the smoke. Uh, fancy titles and and uh, music and all that on my videos. I just like to get to it. Now, uh, it's cold today. Uh, it's bright, sunshiny, beautiful outside, but it's just cold, you know. Well, of course, if you're a southerner like me and 72 years old, anything under 50 degrees is you freeze to death. I think that's about what it is out there, about 50. Anyway, let's get started and see what uh, what this is going to Now, take. before we get started, I wanted to show you the old one. This is the old front motor mount. <clears throat> In case you've never crawled under there and looked at it. <clears throat> Pardon me. But uh, they get old. They're, this is rubber. And it gets dried out and spongy. Sometimes cracks. But, uh, on the old ones, the top and bottom look very similar. So it's stamped top. But you probably can't see that. But anyway, I'll give you an idea of what we're replacing. Now here's the area we're going to be working in. We'll move around. Maybe you can see. Here's that motor mount right here. I know you can't see that real well, but this is what we're going to be doing. All right. Now we're getting down to it. Now, this is a voltage regulator, and you're going to have to remove that and just swing it out of your way so you can get to things. Uh, now, some of the newer bikes, sorry about that, some of the newer bikes, you may have an oil cooler, uh, I, I don't know, all kind of bells and whistles in here that may be in your way and if you do you just got to move them out of the way uh, another thing that might make it a little easier if you remove your oil filter uh, it gives you a little bit more room to work but you can work around it the problem is using a torque wrench in order to get the uh, proper torque on these bolts if you have to go from the top so we've got these out of the way and it's exposed our motor mount and our bracket. Now you'll notice too that you've got this uh, stabilizing bar that's uh, connected to your engine. So these are the things we've got to, we've got to take off. Now, at this point, you'll notice I've got a, a little scissor jack, a yeah, ton and a half scissor jack under my engine. And you may want to use a little piece of wood or something. I don't because I've got a dimple in, the, in here. And center it on the engine and bring it up. Now what the purpose of this is, is just to get the uh, weight of the engine off of the motor mount. So you need to really be careful in doing this. You want to raise the engine enough, just enough to get the weight off here. But before you do that, there's a nut right here on the bottom of this motor mount. You want to take that nut off. Take that nut completely off so that you're not just pulling on the motor mount when you try to lift the engine. So with that off, then you'll take your jack and raise this up until there's just a gap between this bracket and the top of the motor mount. Don't try to jack the engine up so far that you can take the mount out because that won't work. You're going to create yourself a problem. 
you don't have much room under the frame for your engine. Your engine could go up and actually contact your uh, coil or you could crush some wiring up in here. You don't have that much room and you don't want to lift this engine any more than it takes to get the weight off of this. Okay, now I've taken a little break here. I get out of that freezing 50 degree weather out there uh, because, because what I wanted to do is talk about something I think is important, especially on this job. And I've got a graphic that I'm gonna show you later and, and explain to you why. But on this job or any other project you're doing on your motorcycle, if it's the first time you've done it, uh, take a picture before you take something apart. Uh, you know, so you, you'll know how to put it back together. We'll say, well, I, I can remember how to put it back together. Well, some things are pretty simple. So take a picture. Be good to yourself. Don't try to solve a problem and create another problem. Uh, it happens all the time. Uh, or you may just be old like me. And and uh, your memory's about as long as your panky. Uh, sometimes I can't remember why I went in the other room. But, but that's fine. So uh, be a good mechanic. Play, pay attention to detail. And uh, there's a couple of details on this motor mount that you really need to pay attention to. So let's uh, look at that. Okay, class, uh, pay attention because there's going to be a pop quiz after. Now, I made this uh, little graphic here because this is such a tight space to work in that uh, I can't get the camera in uh, well enough to get this view so I drew a picture so what we want to do is pay attention to the picture now I've got a picture of everything from other angles so so maybe you can relate <clears throat> so let's start here this is your engine your engine block and it's got a lug or appendage or corbel or whatever you want to call it that's cast in to your crankcase. And the reason for that is to mount this engine mounting bracket to your engine, which goes down over your motor mount. Now you have the the uh, engine jacked up and I told you before that you want to remove this nut, little flange nut, and a big plate washer that's under here so that you can lift this up just enough to clear your motor mount. So what we have to do is remove the engine mounting bracket. So that means we need to take this bolt out. So we'll take this bolt out, and when you take this bolt out, before you throw it in a can and mix it up with everything else, put the bolt and the washers and the nut back on the bolt so they're matched up right. This is a grade 8 bolt. So once you've taken this out, you can pull this long through bolt out, and you can remove the engine mounting bracket. Now, you can just simply loosen this bolt. There's two of those, one on each side. Loosen those, and you can just lift the old motor mount right on out. You have a flange nut, 
and a big plate washer that you've already removed. Now don't despair if you can't really see my drawing really clearly because I'm going to put up a scanned picture of this that you can uh, freeze frame the video and do a screenshot or whatever you want if you want to see my picture a little better. Now of course the reassembly of these parts is just the reverse of taking them apart. So the first thing you want to do is put your motor mount in. Drop these bolts in, but don't put the nuts on yet. You want to torque this grade 8 bolt to about 35 foot-pounds. Now, I don't remember where I got that number, but uh, I remember it from some previous life I've had, I guess. But uh, we want to put this back together get it all torqued down. Now you can, can remove your jack and let the whole thing sit down on the motor mount. At this point, you want to get up on top of your bike and fire it up. Uh, and the reason you want to do that, just for a couple of minutes, is in order for the engine to find a le an equilibrium. This uh, motor mount may move right or left or up and down and uh, but it's going to find it's it's going to find its equilibrium here so we want to do that and then shut the engine down tighten all this back up and you're good to go well all right well i hope you got it all back together and and you can be the judge of how well it may have changed uh, that vibration. Uh, quite frankly, not that much. But I can rest assured in the fact that I've replaced a part that was worn out. Uh, pretty tight space to work in. And uh, maybe we've helped you a little bit. Watch my video and a couple of others that are on uh, YouTube and maybe you'll get enough information here to, to uh, change out that motor mount. Uh, this bike's pretty old, so am I. <laughs> and so there are parts I can replace on it. I wish there were some parts I could replace on me. But uh, that's about it for this one. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully it won't be in the shop, but it'll be out there in the Rocky Mountains or the Cascades or down in the desert, California, someplace. So, peace, love, rock and roll. Y'all be nice to each other.